Lord God, we'd like to thank you for this time. Now, once again, through technology, pwede mi maka-worship. Through technology, pwede mi makatapok. Through technology, pwede mi makapadayon uban as one community. And Karun Lord, as we gather together, we ask nga you give us insight, taga imi guidance, taga imi wisdom, as we continue on serving you and worshiping you through the comforts of our home and perhaps nami sa mga office or wherever we are, even if we are on the mission field, we are able to worship you and gather as one community of believers. And so we thank you and we honor you. It's in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Shalom community of believers. I'd like to welcome you to a uh, time together as we learn from God's word. For the many times na, for the many months that we have been adjusting sa new normal, most of us have experienced nga na I change when it comes to our priorities, perhaps responsibilities, perhaps placement, kung asa ta, uh, nagatrabaho ka ro, to build sa una, or unsay ka bisihan na to, or perhaps we have moved residences, or di kaya pwede po ka nag-change o status in our life. And so, dako kay tendency during this new normal that we change in our, in how we think and how we do things. Okay, I think it's also fitting as I ask from the Lord unsa atong first to talk about the the first topic and the main way for us to get back into all these things especially as we combine the new normal of coming into the bird months is that we ask ourselves first this most important question in our faith why do we exist why do we continue to do this Nga nung naatadari, nga nung ga, ga spend ya po pag time in worshiping and studying and everything else. Why do we exist? And that is also a starting point. Kanang question na it's a starting point para sa tua. And so to begin with that, let's first study a few verses. Arun kita will be reminded through the verses that we are going to read. Psalm 19 verse 1 says, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. In Psalm chapter 97, verses 6 to 7, in India, the heavens proclaim His righteousness, and all the people see His glory. All worshippers of images are put to shame, who make their boast in worthless idols. Worship Him, all you gods. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. For by him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. So, klaro ka ang first point nato, which is the whole creation is made for its creator. Dili lang kaning verses sa ibasa, but actually, when we read the Bible, it is jam-packed through explicit sayings that everything is made for God's glory or also it could be through the stories of people who served him makita nato that the whole creation or even the promises to yang gihatag it is all intended that the whole creation is for its creator and it's very simple logic lang nga ang nagbuhat sa isa kabutang para pudto sa iyaha serving his needs or serving his purposes that is the very reason why he has created such a thing. And kana ato malintan. Ever since magsugod ta here on this earth, bata pa lang ta, we have this concept and notion that ang ato ang life is a life worth chasing something. And that is good. That is fine. Na natay goals, natay ambition. And uh, nothing I think is worse, uh, a worse life than ang isa ka kinabuhi nga wala tay gina wala tay tumung, wala tay paaduan, wala tay purpose. And therefore, it is a worthy, it's a good thing to have nga naana, na naa tay purpose. But the question is, para sa asa? Para ba sa imong happiness? Para ba sa imong fulfillment? Para ba sa imong glory? Aron mo sikat ka? Aron managhan ang imong tao na makaila sa imong? Managhan imong followers? Ang sababa? 
No, the whole creation is made for its creator. Di na to kalimta na. When we start our families, when we start our businesses, ang ministry, organization, whatever else atong buhaton, it is all for the creator. It is all for the creator. Let's continue. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 6 to 7. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. And everyone called by my name and created for my glory, whom I have indeed formed and made. So it's not only nga it's made for the Creator, but more specifically, nag-ingundari, it is great, great, we are created for God's glory. Yung siya, my name, my glory, tanan ako ang form and created. And later on, matunan na to, mabalaan na to, nga nung inani ang lingwahe, nga nung kami, ang iyahang gina, balik-balik. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, So whether you eat, or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So, specifically, para sa atua, we, you, kita tanan, were made for God's glory. The whole creation, earlier nakita na to, heavens, and creation specifically, uh, everything na naan na to makita andere, but these verses speaks about kita. Kita were made for God's glory. Ang imong family were made for God's glory. Ang imong life were made for God's glory. Ang imuhang emotions, imong affections, ang imong desires, imong goals, actually they were originally made for God's glory. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 15 reminds us for it is all for your sake so that as grace extends to more and more people it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. Paul describes his life that it is all for the sake of people na iyang serve, So that as grace sila, mas makatuon sila, mas makita nila ang grace live sa life ni Paul, grace will extend to more and more people and it, it also increases thanksgiving. Mas daghan ang sa gino. And why? Because it is for the glory of God. Philippians chapter 2 verses 10 to 11 so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And makita na today, but God's chief aim, ang iyahang main objective, is for Him to be glorified forever. Kana yung goal? Kana yung aim? Why na ang creation? Why na ata? why He continues to provide, why He continues to be with us, why He continues to reveal Himself to us through His Son and even through His Word, which is the Bible, or through His people, through the gifts that we are using to serve, nga nung padayon na ginareveal yung kaugaling nyo through that, simple lang, because for Him to be glorified forever is His main objective. Makita natin na through different aspects, no? As we continue on sa mga verses na ipipedere. And why it connects to why we exist and how should we adjust things. Let's study first a few verses. Nga no kanigipang buhat niya, aron kita magay where and how he does things to point us to himself. Okay, Ephesians chapter 1 verses 5 to 6. He predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of His will, to the praise of His glorious grace, with which He has blessed us in the beloved. So, pakita diri, God loves us. He da- adopts us. He adopts you because He has a purpose for you, and that is to the praise of His glorious grace. So, purpose niya, in the first place, why we are adopted as children, as sons and daughters of God, is simple lang to the praise of His glorious grace. Kana iyang, kana iyang main reason why. And of course, we can point to His love, to His compassion, to His mercy, and again, to His grace. But ultimately, it is to the praise. Arong kita will, will, will speak out from our hearts praises for His glorious grace. Another verse, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 6 to 7. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. 
God calls you because you are created for His glory. Kaya na ang main reason why. He calls you for His glory. Another look, chapter 2, verses 10 to 14. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom He is pleased. Now, kita na to ni, this is a verse actually na, na medyo nag-rise up kayo, ginagamit ni usually during sa ato mga Christmas time or leading into Christmas celebration. But makita na to din na ang giingon sa angels, a multitude of angels, they are praising God and saying to the men that glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among those who He is pleased. God has given us a Savior because glory belongs to God in the highest. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 14 to 15. For the love of Christ controls us because we have concluded this, that one has died for all. Therefore, all have died and he died for all, that those who live, kita, might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Kita na din that God died for us because He wants us to live for Him. Again, nibalik na po ang discussion na ang ginoo mismo, He has died for the main single objective na mabalik sa uyaha ang atong kinabuhi because now we live for Him through His sacrifice. John chapter 17 verse 24 Father, I desire that they also whom you have given me, may be with me where I am, to see my glory that you have given me, because you love me before the foundation of the world. This is Jesus praying for his disciples before he would be crucified, would start, nakatong time na makulong siya, and so on, sa nahitabo sa iya in the Gospels. He is praying for his disciples that they would see his glory. And nakabutang paganit diri that the glory that you have given me because you love me. He is speaking, the Son is speaking to His Father. Sila. It is for God's glory. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 to 7. But God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which He loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, He made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and rise, raised us up with Him and seated us with Him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages He might show the immeasurable riches of His grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. Now, I want you to focus on the last verse. So that in the future, in the coming ages, He might show the immeasurable riches of His grace. So, nagya punto. He loves us because of His great love. And then to show Ang yahang kindness, this is the kind of love that he has. It still points to himself. But mga talaga, nga no, nga no, it's, it's a very possible na, na, na question na mga noong naka, nga no ang lingwahe, nga no ang verses, nga tanan, it speaks about God glorifying, doing things glorifying himself. Nga no, gusto niya ibalik sa yahang kaugalingan. Nga no ang yahang Ano ginabuhat niya ni Tanan for His glory? And the main reason why for us to understand that, we must learn this statement. Only by God pointing to Himself, He truly loves His people. Pwede ka mo talang, nga, nga no? Nga no kailangan niya i-point siya sa sabi. Di ba pwede nga? He loves His people simply because He loves His people. He loves niya mga tao niya because loving siya yung ginoo. Yung mga pwede may na to about sa ginoo. He is a loving God. He is a forgiving God. He is a merciful God. And ginabuhat niya din because He loves His people. He loves us. And ginabalik-balik na to na. And so, pwede na to actually tanawon. And tanawon po na to, ipakita po na to nga no dili in ana. Nga no He has to mention, He has to point to Himself. Glory. Ephesians 1, 5-6 
still, still this is, these are the same verses that we basa kaniya. Gitanggal na ko tung parts that speaks about unsay purpose ato, mainly for His glory. Now let's learn this together. He changed that auto, ganiha. He adopts you because His reason is to the praise of His glorious grace. Na karong kambio na to, delete na kanang reason. Karong let's change it that He adopts you because simply, and He has a purpose for you simply because He loves you. Loves na kan, love lang kaniya. Gi adapt kaniya because nasi nasi purpose gi atag simo because simply love lang yung kaniya. Okay, let's uh, let's do that as the point A, point one. Simply because he loves you. Na karon in Isaiah 43, tanggal na po nato ang statement na for my glory. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created, whom I formed, and made. Tanggal na tong for my glory. He calls you, tawag kaniya, simply kay love kaniya. Okay? Luke chapter 2, verses 10 to 14. Again, let's remove Pag-pray sa ginoo, let's remove glory to God in the highest on earth. Gihatag niya ang Savior simply because He loves us. Okay? So, and we may we may begin to think, tama bitaw, tama bitaw. And I won't argue that. Tanggalo na to na. But tanggalo na to ang part about giving God the glory or kana iyong purpose, which is for His glory. Okay? And the last verse, so verse 15, gitanggal po na to. That those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for Him. for their sake died and was it. Tanggalan nato na, he, may mention lang siya in 2 Corinthians na therefore all have died and he died for all. Namatay siya para sa tanan. Okay, let's, kanan lang, tanggalan nato itong about his glory. God died for us simply because he loves us. John, 14, 7, John 17, focus lang ta on gusto ni Jesus mauban ta sa iyaha kung asa siya. Not to see the glory, but simply because gusto lang siya, he prays for us, magbanda siya because he loves us. Okay, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 47, tanggalan na itong because of the great love with which he loved us. Niingon lang ta that God is merciful, God being rich in mercy. Okay, gipasailo ta niya by his grace. Okay, so God loves us simply because he loves us. Now we may begin to think, kita po yun ito mag-nauna, Napay difference. On one aspect, pwede ka mo ingon na katong first illustration na to, na if God continually says that He does these things for His glory, ninyo, mula lagi paminawang kung, kung ako na mo ingon sa inyo ha, buhatan ninyo ni para musikat ko, buhatan ninyo ni para dagan makailas ako ha. Or please, tabangin ko ninyo para managal akong followers. Kung ginayin mo na ako na, you may begin to think na Madali lang, mura lagi ka ng ano kayo na siya ka ng gusto ka ayun niya sa iya ka muad to ta ng glory. Gusto siya na musikat siya. It's not coming from a place na love ta niya. It's simply na gusto lang niya musikat. Or gusto lang niya na a selfish motive. And pwede na maingna na. Now I want you to look at this simple imagery. That is a well. Okay? It's a well And everywhere you go, according to 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 in many places, uh, apil na sa mga basic necessities no how to survive ta. Food, we need food, we need shelter, we need clothing, and apil dito sa food, we also need obviously water. I don't think kaya ni mo survive without water. And even great nations and big cities are built around sources of water. And sa una, when they build cities, apil jo na sa consideration nila na ay source of water. And we can even see that in the Bible that when they built cities or when they built villages, uh, whether katong time pa na moving pa sila, mura pa si Journey, mura pa sila like mga exiles, o katong time nakapwesto na sila that there would be strategic positioning around the well or near the well. Okay, both sa ilahang livestock and para sa ilahang mga needs. Now, if I say na isa lang dyan kawel ang kinangla nato sa Tanan Village to supply, it should be a very big well, unlimited na well. But sadly, dili ka na ang case because nagkan ka ayaw posible na mag- magpila, nagkan sabay-sabay magkuha. And therefore, kumutan ako ka sa mga villages and cities, nagkag wells dapat imuang imbutang. Now, if kaning well would be 
the source sa inyo ang water, di ni pwedeng usara. It should be taghan. And I want you to keep that image as we go on to illustration because kanipod ang discussion ni Jesus with the Samaritan woman. If you remember, there is a story about a Samaritan woman and kaning Samaritan woman, she met Jesus and then Jesus was talking about drawing water from the well. Okay, siya, it's an everyday routine for them in their culture. Nga mababae would, would carry jars of water uh, coming from the well and then dalhon nila sa ilang household. And si kaning Samaritan woman, ipangayuan siya ni Jesus of water and then they came into a discussion na kaning water from the well na ihatag doon ni Jesus Kinsay mo inum ani will never be thirsty. And ang babae, after this conversation in John chapter 4, nangayo siya kay Jesus, Ug water, tagaik ko ani para di na ko balik-balik diri sa well. Ah, madali akong trabaho, kaya na ako'y unlimited sa balay. And Jesus talked about a kind of water that is not the, the average water na naata just to supply our thirst, but the kind of water. And he is talking about Jesus living inside their hearts, the Spirit being put by God inside their hearts. And mauna ang mag, magpadayon ang agas inside our hearts leading up to eternal life. Na kung tanawin na na image, it shows na ang well of love, even from us, it will always be finite. Ito pa, pero may mahulot. Pero may mag-dry up. Ako, I have been married for almost 10 years now. And ako makitaan through the years, each year has never be, is never the same. And the whole factor, Anna, because ang emotions po nato, and even kita, mga responsibilities, nagkaking factors. But one factor na naadiha is that ang love nato will never be constant. Di na siya pirmi naadiha. There are seasons and times that the feeling goes away. And there are times po na ang usa lang ang very loving to another, and then there are times katong usa po ang balik at na love because the other is not that loving. And makita na to diri, when they were talking about the living water, na nakangyo siya ka, Jesus, Lord, tell me, inna ko about aning water. And then, ito bag ni Jesus sa Yaha, go and call your husband. And I said, sir, wala ko iba na. And then, as Jesus, makita niya ang half-truth na gisulti sa mga woman. And he answered, Tinood, wala kay bana. Because in fact, naakay lima ka husbands. And this wo- this man you're with now is not your husband. So makita nato dila, it's a connection with the well and yahang pag-seek o love from husbands. And it's very simple. Na if mudro ka from people or from wells, pirmina siya makrut. If diya ni mo kwaon ang imuang source, of happiness and joy, it will always run out. And therefore, if ibutang na itong atong life, atong joy, atong happiness, i-base na sa butang, aside sa ginoo, then the Lord is putting us in a trap. Atong sulti pa nga uso ko rin, it's a trap. Because if ang ato ang focus on our lives and how we do things, atong ministry, atong energy, ang atong resources, and even ang goals nato for our family, a trap to make us believe na kita ang center of our universe, ang happiness nato ang pinaka-importante, na ang ginuo na adiha, arong tabangan ta sa atong mga plano, na arong siya para sa atong plano, para sa atong plano, para sa atong mga gusto, para sa atong ambisyon, kung ka mga butanga, then it becomes a trap. Because dili man ka na makahatag sa ato ang joy. Dili man ka na ang mga butang na maka-satisfy sa ato ang fully and consistently. Only by God pointing to Himself, He truly loves His people. And makita na na that God is the only being in this world that by pointing to Himself, He truly loves us. Kaya nung magawa sa atong trap of only loving ourselves, a trap nga ato ang kalibutan o atong kinabuhay, ang pinaka-importante din sa kalibutan, He is saving us from that trap. Because however 
you live your life kabaluta whether it's entertainment pleasure it could be family it could be enjoyment it could be pastime hobbies whatever kabaluta that it will never satisfy us kabaluta nga dili na fully makahatag sa to atong everlasting joy ug happiness na atong makuha sa Ginoo kabaluta na kabaluta na that whenever even if na isa kabutang ganaan kita pagbalik-balik na to gamiton balik-balik na to awon it becomes boring we must find the next one aron ma entertain ta or aron na enjoy ta and on and on and on it goes and same with the woman nangita siya husband wala siya ganahi wala it could be wala to naka fully satisfy sa iya hatong lalaki or it could be wala to naka provide sa kinahanglan it could be na ashi kind of lifestyle gina maintain ug dito mahatag sa lalaki and therefore he divorces that man only to find out pag adto niya sa next na pud na lalaki dili gyud pud to makapalipay sa iya he moves on to another man and until five kabo and katong person nakauban niya again dili gyud pud and it's a trap kung kita mag manginabuhi ngatong lives lives are for our own it's a trap but if we live our lives for god para sa iya atong kinabuhi para sa iya atong talent atong gifts atong energy atong resources then therefore we truly love people because if we point people to ourselves o kung kinsa ta they end up disappointed and maski unsa ko ka loving sa akong wife maski unsa kadag dako akong effort ginahatag sa akong family or to whoever, whoever i could i consider as a loved one always ya po na kulang always ya po na ko sila ma disappoint always ya po na ko at some point and at some time ma fail na ko ang ilahang expectation but if i point them to god who never fails who never disappoints who always has a plan and that is for our own good then i know in my heart that ang ilang time ang ilang resources that they spend in serving and loving god and glorifying god is not in vain and therefore i truly love people if i point them to god and the question goes back sa atua during this time it may be very possible na namugnaw ta sa kinuo because of the pandemic maybe because the thinking changes during this time or we think this as a break season ahuay ta rest ta uh, kay pandemic the world is slowing down the world doors are closing and kita pud we should be resting we should be not moving not doing anything but the question is as we study first peter chapter 2 verse 9 mao ba na this god change your objective not to change because I'm subchanged as well. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The reason why we exist is for God's glory. The reason why na tedere, the reason why na kailan ta sanya, the reason why we are called a family, a race. A people for his own possession is very simple. Na nata dere to proclaim the excellencies of God. Wherever you are, whatever industry na aka, whatever endeavor, whatever project na naang ginabuhat ni mo, you are here for God's glory. Klaro ka ayon na. And it's either something na imong ibutang la sa kinit siya mong kinabuhi, and you glorify yourself by making God someone na ginagamit ni mo aron ka maka maka makabatun o komportable nga kinabuhi or you live your life for God's glory. So ang question dere para sa asa ang imuhang ginabuhat karon. Para sa unsa na ang imuhang ginakabalakan? Para sa unsa ang imuhang worries and imuhang anxieties so recently? Ay mong time asa nimo ginaspend? Ang imong life asa nimo ginabutang? Ang imong heart imong mind unsa imo ang gina abalahan and kita daghan kita distractions in our life and it goes back to the root question why do you exist why have you been saved why are you included of those whom god called and peter says in his word that you are part of the royal priesthood a holy nation para sa asa na para sa unsa na 
And that is a question that you should ask yourself. That you should ask imo family. You should ask sa imo pag start sa perhaps imo business, sa imo organization, or kung asa na bisyan nimo para sa asa na. And if the answer is not for Christ, then I'm afraid what you're doing could simply be in vain. To end our time together, I'd like to share with you isa pa saying. It is a poem by Charles Studd. And it goes like this. Only one life that will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Only one life, yes, only one. Soon will its fleeting hours be done. Then in that day, my Lord to meet and stand before his judgment seat. Only one life it will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. I hope and I pray na gamito natin yung time to reflect on what we have been spending most of our time in. As a community, I urge you na kita mag-reflect sa ato ang ginaspend sa time. Not only time, but even sa atong emotions kung asa nakabase. Even how we communicate with other people. How we spend our time with our family. How we conduct ourselves pag sa trabaho or sa business. Only what's done for Christ will last. Let us all pray. Lord God, thank you for reminding us once again kung para sa asa ni Amung Kinaboy. Lord, thank you for reminding us as well that the only reason why we exist is for your glory. And there's nothing more beautiful than that. Na as sinful and as fragile as we are, You have saved us and we are able to serve you for your glory. Lord, we are not deserving. It is only by grace na pwede na umubuhat ni. It is only by grace that you have given us this privilege. Among um, life, among um, time, among um, resources, among um, talent, among um, gift is all for your glory. If there's anything in our hearts, Lord, na you are convicting us of right now, we pray na padayunan na. If there's anything in our hearts, that we are doing things that is not for your glory, that does not show that you are beautiful over all. Lord, I pray, convict our hearts. Spirit, move in our hearts that we may be reminded once again, again and again, that we are for you. Our lives and our time and efforts and energy are all for you. May you be glorified in our lives as we spend the rest of the week adjusting, repenting, and pushing ourselves more by your strength to live our lives for your glory. In Jesus' name.